everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. If this is your first time visiting then my name is Rebecca and just take a moment now to subscribe to the channel and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new crochet tutorial. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do this beautiful wave stitch. So it's a beautiful effect that you get with this stitch. Obviously you can use as many or as few colours as you like. If you only use two colours you'll be able to carry your yarn a bit easier up the side. Let's just jump straight in with the beautiful wave stitch. So I'm just going to be using some beautiful cotton yarn because I'm going to make this into a pot holder or maybe even a washcloth, I've not entirely decided yet. And I'm going to be using these beautiful beach type shades. So I'm start obviously with your slip knot on your hook. And you want to do your foundation chain in multiples of 10 plus 3. So the width that you want your project to be, as I make sure it is a multiple of 10, and then add 3 chains to the end. So yarn over and pull through, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, so I've completed my multiples of 10 and then I'm going to add on my additional 3 chains to the end. We're going to work into the second chain from the hook. So this is your first chain and this is your second. And we're going to be doing a double crochet. So that is a UK double, US single. So insert your hook into that second chain. Yarn over and pull up. And you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. So that is a UK double. And now this next stitch is going to count as the first part of the repeat that you're going to do all the way along. So this next stitch now is the first one. So into your next chain you're going to do another UK double. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull up, yarn over and pull through both. In the next one you're going to do a half treble. So yarn over, insert into that next chain, yarn over and pull up. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. So obviously that is a half double in the US. In your next two stitches you're going to put a UK treble. So one treble into the next two chains. So yarn over, insert into your next chain, yarn over and pull up. Again, you'll have three loops. You want to yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So that is your first UK treble. You want another treble into the next chain. So yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you can see our stitches are starting to get taller. Into the next two chains you're going to do one double treble into each one. So a UK double treble is yarning around your hook twice, insert into your next chain, yarn over and pull up and this time you'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one double treble. Yarn over twice again and go into your next chain. Yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So you can see there, they're getting nice and tall now and now we want to work back down. So. We want to mirror what we've just done. So we've done our two double trebles. So now we want one treble into the next two chains. So yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So that's one. You want another one into your next chain. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So that's our two trebles. Next you want your half treble, so insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through all three loops and then finish with a double. So insert, 
yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. So that is how you should look after that section of the pattern. So you're going to repeat that now, starting with a double crochet. So you're going to go right back to the beginning and start again with a UK double crochet. So into your next chain, you'll do a double. Into your next chain, you'll do a half treble. And then one treble into the next two chains. One, and two, and then you want a double treble into the next two chains. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two, and then again into the next chain. And then you're going to start working back down. So you'll do one treble into the next two chains. One. And two. A half treble. And then finally a double. So if you want to repeat that now all the way along your foundation chain and I will meet you as you get towards the end. Okay so I've completed that all the way along. I've just done my treble, half treble and double and then I've got one chain left where I'm going to end with a double crochet. But I'm not going to complete this double crochet because I'm going to bring in my next colour. So I'm going to grab my new colour and bring it through those last two loops. Okay, so I'm changing colour now. On the rest of them, I'm going to do two rows of each colour to complete the pattern. But just when you're starting, I like to do just one row in the first colour and then do two rows in all my other colours. And then I'll finish with one row of this pale blue again at the very end, which will flatten and straighten off the top of your work. So it just means it's nice and symmetrical. Okie dokie, so I'm going to turn my work around now and we want to start off with a nice tall stitch. So into this very first stitch just here, I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. And then you can see the stitch has got two vertical sections to it. I'm going to go behind the one closest to my working end, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, and pull through both of those loops. And that is going to count as our first double treble for this row. It just means that without the chain four, you don't get that big gap along the side. And then into the next stitch, which is another double crochet from the row below, you're going to do another double treble. So yarn over twice, insert, yarn over and pull up, and complete your double treble. Obviously you'll be familiar with them now because you'll have been doing them along your foundation row. And so we're going to be doing the opposite now. So we've got our two double trebles. You then want two trebles, so one into the next two stitches. You do one treble and another treble. You then want your half treble, so yarn over and pull through all three and then your next two stitches should be your double trebles from the row below and that's where you're going to put your double crochet so yarn over and pull through both and then obviously you're starting your next pattern repeat now and you're going to start with your next double crochet into that next double treble so now we've gone double crochet, you then want half treble and then one treble into the next two stitches, one, two and then 
you've got your two double crochets from the row below where you're going to put your double trebles. So one double treble into the next two stitches. It's one and two. And then again, two trebles. So one treble into the next two stitches. Half treble. and your double and then you'll be ready to start that next repeat again with your next double crochet and repeat so if you do that all the way along and I will meet you to start off the next row in just a second okay so you should always be finishing the row with whatever you started with so we started with the two double trebles at this end so that's what we're going to finish with so I've done my two trebles and you can see I've got these two stitches left and into those two stitches I'm going to put one double treble to finish off this row. That's one. And two. So again, that is how we should be looking at this point. So now we're actually going to repeat that particular row. So this is you're going to turn and then again we're going to do that double treble height stitch so you're going to insert your hook into that first chain yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through both and then insert your hook behind the vertical part nearest to your working end yarn over and pull up yarn over and pull through both okie dokie so then into the top of the next stitch you're going to put another double treble And then one treble into the next two stitches. So you're literally just repeating the last row that you just did. And this is what is going to give us that beautiful wave effect. Half treble. And then a double. Okay, and then you're ready to repeat your double, half treble, 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 double treble, double treble, treble treble, half treble, double. <laughs> so you can work that all the way along your row now starting with your double crochet into the next stitch and I will meet you at the other end in just a tick. Okay so just like the last row you should be finishing with a double treble into the final two stitches. one but I'm going to stop with two loops left on my hook just here so that I can bring my new yarn my next colour in and pull it through those last two loops like I say if you're only doing two colours you'll just be able to pick up your colour from earlier on so I'm going to do a chain one just to secure I'm just going to pull those nice and tight. So that is how you should be looking at this point. So you want to turn and then we're on to the next row of our pattern repeat now. So those are the first two rows and these next two are your next two rows. So you want to insert your hook into this very first stitch and do a double crochet. And then into the top of the next double treble from the last row you want to do a double crochet. So that is the start of your repeat now. And then you obviously want your half treble. And then one treble into the next two stitches. One. Two. And then you've got your two double crochets from the row below and that's where you'll be putting your double trebles. It's one. Two. And then one treble into the next two stitches. It's one. 
and two, and then half treble, and then your final double. And then obviously you'll start your repeat again with your double into your next stitch and repeat that down. And that is what you should get. And then I will meet you at the end of this row and we will turn and we will do the next row together. And then I will show you how to finish off at the very end. Okay, so I've just done my two trebles, my half treble, and then I've got my two stitches left. So I will finish with my double, which is part of my repeat. And then one double into that very end stitch. And again, that is how you should be looking at this point. So again, now you're going to turn because you'll be doing two rows of each colour. And you're going to repeat that last row once again. So you'll turn, insert your hook into that very first stitch, yarn over and pull up and do your double crochet. And remember to mark your stitch if you want to and then start your pattern repeat. So you'll start with your double. So we're just doing exactly the same as what we've just done. So half treble, one treble into the next two stitches, and then your double trebles, so one into the next two stitches, and they should be on top of the double trebles from the last row. So it's quite easy to know if you're messing up because your stitches won't line up. <laughs> and then one treble in your next two stitches as before, half treble, and your final double. And then you'll start with your next double crochet and work along. And I will meet you at the end of this row once more in just a second. Okay, so just like in the last row you should be finishing, so I'll do my final double of my repeat and then one last double into that final stitch. But I'm not going to complete my stitch because I'm going to be changing colours again at this point. And you're just going to repeat those last four rows, so the darker blue and the cream. So if you want to rewind to the start of the darker blue if you need to. And then you'll just repeat those four rows until your project is as big as it needs to be. And that is where I will meet you in a second and we will straighten off this together so that it's ready for your border. Okay, so once you've completed up as much as you need and you want to finish off, I'm obviously going to be finishing in the same colour that I started with just because I like symmetry basically. So you need to finish on when you've done two rows of one of your colours. And then you're going to work the opposite of whatever you've got. So you'll work one row of what would be your next repeat. So whether you're going to be starting with your doubles or whether you're going to be starting with your double trebles, you're just going to work one row of what would be your next row repeat. And that will give you the nice straight edge. So for example, I'm starting this one with my doubles because my last row was the double trebles. So I will start that with my double as normal and then my half treble. So it's basically after you've done two, one complete set of two colours, you'll change colour and then finish with the opposite of whatever you've got basically and only doing one row of it. Got my double trebles into my doubles from the previous row. So it's super simple, you will literally just do one row of what would be your next pattern repeat because one row will give you the nice straight edge ready for your border. So you can see I've got that nice straight edge now and that will be perfect for my border. So that is all you need to do is just one half of your next repeat basically. So that is it for the wave tutorial. I really hope that you have enjoyed this one and do make sure that you subscribe and press the little bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. 
but I will see you again really soon for another video. Bye for now.